what you're about to do is going to be a whole different thing than before, or? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And we had time, two years, to prepare for it. I'm Amelie Fantas. And I'm Tommy Ten, and together we are the Clairvoyants. We can make the impossible possible. You chose the Five of Hearts. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. The final moment on America's Got Talent, it was only us and Craze on stage. The whole America was watching. Craze Vanderwaal! It was very hard, but it also pushed us. Since then, we have spent all the time working on our performance. We knew that together we can step it up, do something bigger, something better. Now we are part of HET Champions. On HET, it was about the best acts out of America. Now it's about the best acts in the whole world. There is a lot of pressure, but we will put all our heart and passion into it. For the last two years, we've been preparing for a second opportunity to show the judges, but also to show America we are ready for the first place. And tonight, it will pay off. After our incredible journey, we are thrilled to be back on America's Got Talent, the champions. We've been so lucky to travel around the world we also receive tons of mail. People want to know everything about us, but also about the churches. Yes, Oops. and probably the number one question they have about the churches is about your love lives. Oh, right. oh. oh I love yes, this yes, act yes. already, <laughs> already. Please stand up and join us on stage. Churches, churches. <laughs> We're about to get in their business! Simon, always a pleasure. Likewise, nice to see you. Right next to uh, Heidi, and thank Chloe, you. Yes. Right next to me. Okay. Excellent. So, judges, I need you to imagine a dream date, okay? Simon, Heidi, come with me. There's <laughs> a dream date. <laughs> Perfect. On the table, Simon, here I have. 100 different postcards from cities all over the world, okay? Look through them, they're all different. i like you to pick one city for your dream date, okay? Don't show it to anyone. Just put it inside this envelope, hold it like this, and bring it back to the judge's table, okay? Okay. And Heidi, yes. you will select one candle. Okay. Any one you like, put it inside this bag, and also you can bring it back to the table. Okay. In the meanwhile, Amelie will blindfold herself, and I will look away. <laughs> Howie, yes. you are next. Okay. <laughs> Think about a gift bringing to your dream date, okay? Okay. Any gift you like, make it random, be creative. Not the usual, I don't know, uh, flowers, candy, okay? Okay. <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah. write it down here and place the board face down on the table, okay? Okay. That's for you, please do that on your seat. Oh, thank you so much, Howie, thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Mel B, you will be caretaker of this box. Okay. Hold on to it. Please don't open it yet. Just bring it to the judge's table. Thank you so much, Milby. Thank you. Do me a favor. Imagine your dream date involving your choices and send your thoughts towards Amelie now. I will start with... Heidi. I want you to imagine the fragrance you chose. I think it's something very romantic. It reminds me of a nice summer evening. The scent you chose, I believe, it is campfire. Can we see your candle? Campfire. Was Amelie right? She was. <laughs> Wow. 
Now, Simon, let me continue with you. We are not in the United States. You went further away. I believe the city you chose, it must be Shanghai, China. Is that correct? Can we see your postcard? I'm going to be honest with you. I did pick somewhere different, and at the last moment, I changed it to Shanghai. Now, finally, Howie. OK. I believe it is something very unusual to bring to your dream date. OK. But, Howie, I believe to your dream date, you will bring simple pants. Pants, is that correct? Pants? Yes, it is! No! What? Yes. A big round of applause for Amelie! You don't want to show up without pants. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, one last thing. Mel B, you have the box. Yes. Do us a favor, open the box and let us all know what's inside. A remote control. Take it out, because we save the best for last. Mel B, press play. Hi, everybody. The show hasn't loaded in yet. Nobody is here. But this morning, Amelie said there is something she has to do. Let's look what she's been up to. Amelie knew that Heidi would pick campfire that Simon would go to Shanghai, and that Howie would bring pants. Ah! That's crazy. This is what scares me, because they got second. <laughs> And I feel like they're a little mad. And they're like, you know what? We ain't getting second again. Oh my god, that's just crazy. Oh, you're brilliant. You're absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Melvin. Really, really Thank are. you. Heidi. First of all, I have to tell you guys, you definitely were one of my favorites two years ago. And you just totally wowed us again with this amazing act. I mean, pants, how random is that? That's I mean, so it random. is unbelievable. You guys are so great. Thank you well so much. Done. Thank you, Heidi. Simon. I mean, I was like, ah! I mean, this has just blown my mind. I mean, seriously. Boy, you set the standard, because that is going to be tough to follow. The whole purpose of this show was, for people like you who didn't win, <laughs> let's give you another shot and let's see if you've improved. This was way beyond anything we'd seen before. I'm going to be really honest with you. Good luck. Why not the golden buzzer? That's my golden buzzer today. Why? Why not? I was just being random. I changed no, my really? car. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. I had Honolulu, and then I put it down, and then I put Shanghai in the envelope. Yo, Darcy, man, I'm a huge fan. I've right, seen all your guy, stuff. Yeah, same here. And I'll, we're the only two magicians. Honestly, when I found out that we were going to be on the same show, I was super excited to meet you. But also, then there was a part of me who was like, oh, no. Like, how's this going to yeah, work? How's this going to go for me? I'm Darcy Oak, and I was a finalist on Britain's Got Talent in 2014. Before Britain's Got Talent, I was doing spots in other people's shows, doing cruise ships. I was doing everything that I could to make a living. And after Britain's Got Talent, within like a year, year and a half, I went from performing on the cruise ships to being invited to perform in Windsor Castle for the entire royal family. And I was headlining my own show. And we did a tour of the UK. We did a tour of Canada. It was like whirlwind, and I can 100% trace that back to being on Britain's Got Talent. Each round, I felt a little bit more pressure because it was like the first one went well, so it was like I have to keep on par or up it for the next one. I think we are seeing the birth of a star here with you. No magician had ever made the finals of Britain's Got Talent before. And then when I made the finals, like this is, this is insane, now I want to win it. I was so close, but I came in fifth place. Darcy Oak, you are going home. When I got the invitation for Champions, it was no question for me. It was an immediate yes. I'm extremely excited to perform for Simon again. 
there is an element of pressure there where it's like, oh, okay, like I have to be better than what I did the last time. Tonight, what I'm going to attempt is to literally defy the laws of gravity. This competition means more to me than I can even explain. There's another opportunity right here staring me in the face to win it. I want that champion title. Hello, Darcy. Simon, how are you? I always had this feeling with Darcy, and again, this is part of the reason why we decided to make this show the champions, where there were certain people along the years where I thought, you know what, they should or could have won the competition, hence the reason why you're back. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And just to make it a little bit harder for you, you are now taking on the best of the best. Exactly. I'm thrilled to have you back. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Darcy's up, huh? This is direct competition for this one, because magic and magic, right? We're the only two magicians. Mm -hmm. Howie, I'd like to give you the best seat in the house and welcome you to the stage. So if you could please join me, but on your way up. If you don't mind, if you could select anybody you want from the audience. Pick anybody you want. Yeah. Gentlemen, join me on stage. Hi, I'm Howie. Doug. Hi, Doug. Nice How are you? Good. Howie, if you could come stand to my right, and your name? Doug. Doug, excellent. Come on back here, have a seat, have a seat. Howie, if you can face that way. OK. Doug, face that way, just like that. Yep, exactly. Now, Howie, if you don't mind, just lay backwards. And Doug, yep, lay back, lay back. Comfortable? You're OK? I'm not comfortable, but I'm OK. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Okay. Gentlemen, above you is a board. If you could reach up, please grab the board. Grab the board a little bit this way. Perfect. Heidi, will you join me on stage, me? please? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. Heidi, okay. stand right here. Right now, what I would like to try to do with you is freeze a moment in time. OK, and what am I supposed to do? All you have to do is remain perfectly still, and you're going to fall back into my arms. OK. Sound good? Sounds good. Here we go. OK. Like that? Just like that. And we're going to place you Hi, onto now. the board. Perfect. Hold on nice and tight. Take her weight. Take her weight. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Here we go. Howie, I'm going to slide the board out. Take her feet. Take her feet. Take her feet. Doug, take her shoulders. Take her shoulders. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Howie, drop your hand. This hand, this hand, drop it. Oh, wait, perfect, perfect. Oh, my God. Is that with one hand? Thank you. Just tell the audience 
what happened over the last two years? Um, I, I was fortunate. I, I made it to the finals in season 11. It was unbelievable. And uh, I was playing in the NFL at the time. I played for the Philadelphia Eagles. So yeah, thank you, my man. And at the end of that season, they happened to trade me to a team called the New Orleans Saints. And uh, so I, uh, I, I took a physical. And when I got the results, they said, hey, sit down. We don't know how to tell you this. But uh, don't stand up. Don't walk. Don't lift anything over five pounds. Don't drink caffeine. You're going to do absolutely nothing because you're going to be in emergency open heart surgery in the next 24 hours. You know, there's, um, there's humbling moments that happen in all our lives. When I was 12 years old, my father murdered my mother. And my dad went to prison. I lost both my parents. My entire world got turned upside down. I, I, I credit magic to saving my life. It gave me purpose, it gave me hope, and it gave me something to be proud of. And then I discovered football. And it was these two completely different worlds that kind of balanced me and it helped me discover who I was as a person. When I auditioned for America's Got Talent, I was the long snapper for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's not a trick because it's magic, it was amazing. After I went back to Philadelphia to keep playing football, they discovered that I had an ascending aortic aneurysm. That vein ended up blowing up like the size of a Coke can, and if my aorta bursts, you're dead right away. They said, you're never playing football ever again, and you're gonna go into emergency open heart surgery now. You know, I, I remember when I put my helmet down, knowing that's the last time. I mean, uh, that's a lifetime of hard work right there that is just taken from you. It's crazy to think about all the things that I might not have had the chance to do. I'm so thankful that I get to wake up and love my wife um, and get to live again. The Eagles gave me a Super Bowl ring, which is really, really cool. And they said, hey, John, for you, the Super Bowl isn't this game. It isn't this season. The Super Bowl for you is life. To be here on America's Got Talent Champions, I mean, this is life come full circle. It's another chance for me to stand up and to say why I belong here. I've learned that life is really short. If you got a dream, go get it. And to be able to come back and win a championship, look, I didn't win last time, okay? So I'm here to win. And this is, this is what it's about, and I honestly want that title. That's why I'm here. Well, John, let me tell you, apart from your story, you are extraordinary about as to what you do as well. So I'm really curious now to see how the act has stepped up from when we last saw you. My man, let's roll. Let's do it. All right, here we go, here we go. Yes! Hey! This America's Got Talent champions, and I tell you what, what defines a champion starts right here in the head. And before the show, we had all you guys have pieces of paper, and you had different color pens, and you can write whatever word you wanted. Those papers got thrown in this box. There's thousands of papers in there, Simon. Don't look. I will. Put your hand in there, and I want you to pull out one piece of paper, and do not look at it. I just want you to hold it in your hand. Just get one. I've got it. Crunch it. You got it? Yeah, I crunched it. Heidi, guess what? Yeah. You're going to follow the lead. Okay. You're going to reach in here. Don't look. You're going to pull out one piece of paper. Crunched, and it's in my hand. You got it? Yes. Mel B, it's your turn. Don't look. I won't look. I want you to reach in there, grab out one piece of paper. Is that one? Yeah, yeah one. You got it? Got it. All right, now guess what, Howie? You, unfortunately, you don't get to grab any. Uh -huh. But I love that. Yeah, but guess what? Here are a bunch of pieces of paper okay. that we did not pick. All right. And you can see that they're all different. Right. This one wrote, unbeatable. Right. Go ahead and open one, read it. Discipline. Discipline. All these are the choices you guys did not pick. This is what I love, baby. I got to play 14 years in the NFL, and I got to surround myself with champions everywhere and learn from them. And I learned that it starts with the words that you tell yourself from the moment you get out of bed. You know what else a champion does? We compete. So, Howie, you versus me. You win. <laughs> mono and mono in a ferocious game of tic-tac-toe. You just sit tight. OK. It's a very simple game. I'll go first. I shall go here. OK. Howie. I'll go top right. Top right it is. And think about this. Every move you make is going to dictate what I do. So I tell you what, I shall go here. Howie, where would you like to go? Well, I don't want you to get that third. I'm going to go up in the ah. middle, in the middle of center. Thought I had you on that. All right. Apparently, they agree. They agree. All right, um, I tell you what, I shall go here. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. They're saying it, B bottom Dang right, it. but that's where I <laughs> thought I had him on that. All right, good. 
All right, um, okay, I tell you what. I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, left, on uh, middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? In crunch time, I made a mistake, dang it! Okay, you know what? I tell you what. I didn't win, you didn't win, and we tied. Before we started, everybody in the audience wrote a word, and you had different colors you could have choose from. Simon, you reached in there and you grabbed one. What's your word? Um, courage. And what color is it in? Blue. Heidi. Yes. What word did you pick? Wait, what does it say? I don't know yet. Hard work. And Mel B, you have a word. Yes. What is it? It is heart in black. In tic-tac-toe, there's over 255,000 different combinations. And though it might have not looked like I won, before I started, I printed a picture on the back of each piece. Right here. And guess what? We had three words that were chosen. Simon, yours was courage in blue. Mm -hmm. Heidi, yours was? Mine was hard work in hard red. Hard work in red. And Mel B, yours was? Heart in heart black. Heart in black. I thought I would make a prediction out of every random choice. Simon, I got courage in blue. Heidi, I got hard work in red. Mel B, I got a black heart right there. It is a great day to be alive. My name is John Dornbosch. Peace out, baby. I got magic all over me. Oh, I wish I had a golden buzzer right now. Howie. It is truly worthy of a golden buzzer. And I want to say something to you, John. Like, you are so much more than just a magician, so much more than just an athlete, so much more than just a champion. This is exactly what is worthy of moving on to the final. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, what you did right before our eyes is pure, pure magic. I think your showmanship and your words of wisdom just as the icing on the cake, you're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. When you talk, you command the stage. The magic was amazing. Well done all the way around. Yeah, John, uh, I'm going to say this is the best we've seen you on any performance you've done. Oh, Everything that happens in your life, you're never a victim. You know, you inspire people. You deserve to go through to the final. Oh. So... Thank you, guys. Again, thank you. It's a great day to be alive. Thank you. Take one of these cards, okay? Show it to the camera. To the camera? Yeah. I'll have the card. Yeah. Can you open the marker? Yes. Write your name right over there. One of these cards. Show it to me. 
I'll have the card. Can you open up the marker? And write your name right over there. Very good. Show the camera. Where the cards? Okay, well, a lot of people do ask that, Terry. Uh, Howie, can you try opening your cup? Just open it up. Are you? Uh, no! <laughs> no! Is <laughs> that uh, your card, Terry? <laughs> Look at that. That's my card! And Howie's card! <laughs> Unreal! Howie, listen, we were there. What do you think of that? I, I had so much to say, but now I realize I'm holding cards that were in your mouth. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay, hey, okay hang on. There we okay. go, little sanitizer, okay. Heidi, were you <laughs> impressed? Of course I was impressed. I mean, Shin, you did it yet again. You know, another jaw-dropping performance. Thank you, Heidi. Simon, the great Shin Lin. I don't think many people, having won the show, would have had the guts to come back again this year and do what you've done. And for that, you have my utmost respect. Thank you so much. It is the best of the best. And still, within that context, you were amazing. Literally amazing. Well, good luck tonight, Shin! One more time for the great Shin Lin! Something that I have thought a lot about before coming back to this competition is am I good enough? Self-reflection is only natural, and as human beings, it usually begins with us comparing ourselves to someone else. As a kid, for me, it was Sherlock Holmes, a man who could deduce, influence, and predict human behavior. Allow me to demonstrate. I want every single person in the room right now to think of any celebrity. 
So make sure that I cannot read anyone else's body language. Can I ask you all now, please, to put on the Colin Cloud mask that you were given as you entered the theater? Oh, that's, that's weird. That's funny. Oh. Can I just say, best cult ever. <laughs> Everyone right now is thinking of a celebrity at random. You three, in a moment, are gonna pick one of those people. The way you're gonna do that is by throwing out this paper with an X. Now, to make sure it's random, there's also a bowl full of blank pieces of paper. We'll drop in the X. What I would love the three of you to do is take all the pieces of paper and throw them into the audience. Audience. <laughs> What you're then going to do is mix them until Simon, Heidi, and Mel have hit their buzzers. So keep mixing. Throw the bits of paper. Throw the bits of paper. Keep mixing. Give them a second. Let's get a good mix. Throw them all around the room. Whenever you would like, Simon, Mel, Heidi, hit your buzzer, then stop throwing immediately. Stop mixing. If you have a ball of paper right now, quickly unball it, and the person with the X get ready. Howie, whilst we do that, I would love you to think of a letter and a number. Don't say it, just okay. think. All right. Close your eyes for me, please, sir, All and right. imagine, imagine the number floating in the air, okay. and imagine, good, the letter above it, the number beneath. I'm gonna write something on my hand, so please keep your eyes closed. All right. I don't want anyone to think you're watching how the pen is moving. I have written down one letter and one number. Howie, you can open up your eyes. What letter are you thinking of? An L. L. What number are you thinking of? Three. Three. L. Three. Are yes? Are you kidding me? No. How did he do that? L3, L3, actually, that would be a seat number in the room. Here's the thing, somebody has the X. Can the person with the X quickly stand up, shout hello over here? Right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Just confirm, you're not in L3, are you? No. No, okay, but you are thinking of a celebrity, yes? Yeah. You're, okay, take off your mask for me, take off your mask. Whoever is in L3, can you keep your mask on, stand up and wave? Who is in L3? Who is in L? Is there anyone? Yes, okay, wait right there. You are thinking of a celebrity. Howie, listen carefully. Okay. This is the moment of truth. She's gonna name a random celebrity. We don't know each other, we haven't set anything up. I had the name of one celebrity embroidered on my pocket square. If she says, who is on this square, I'm safe. If I'm wrong, I want you to hit your buzzer and I'm eliminated immediately. In a loud voice, can you tell us who are you thinking of? David Hasselhoff. Sorry, say that again. David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff, picked at random. Yeah. Am I good enough? Here's the thing, right? Any celebrity, any seat, and yet, L3, take off your mask. David Hasselhoff. I'm Rosie Simpson, I'm from Blackpool, England, and I was on Britain's Got Talent season 11. What do you do? I'm going to be doing magic. My grandpa teaches me. So that means your grandfather is a wizard? Yes. Right. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent changed my life forever. This is like real life Harry Potter. You are honestly a little star. I was just this little girl in Blackpool who did magic. All of a sudden, I had fans. I even got a phone call from Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> He's Harry Potter. He said, I hope someday we'll eat. Oh. That was absolutely magical. Right now, I think you're going to win. The winner is... My mouth dropped. I was sad that I didn't win. But being on America's Got Talent, the champions, I get to try once again. OK, studio, here we go. I'm up against the best of the best from all over the world. And it's very scary for a little girl doing magic. Here we go, 10 seconds. I was one up before, but now I want to win this time.
Issy. Hello. You look even smaller. Maybe the stage is higher, but Probably. You, it looks like you shrunk, but you haven't. <laughs> now, introduce yourself, please. I'm Izzy Simpson. I was on Britain's Got Talent in 2017, and I was the runner-up. Yeah. And how old were you then, Issy? I was eight then, eight. but now I'm ten. Wow. Issy is a champion in my eyes. I can't wait to see what you're going to do tonight. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. Tonight I'm going to show you something with my two favourite things, magic and reading, using my three favourite books. My first favourite book is Colin Davis' Math and Magical. Mel B, please can you look through the book and check if each page is different? Yes, it is. My second favourite book is Enid Blyton, The Magical Faraway Tree. Hi, Dee. Yes. Please, can you look through the book and check if each page is different? Will do. My third favourite book is How to Make a Million. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can you look through the book and check if each page is different? It's also my favourite book. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the first book you ever read, Simon. <laughs> Please, can you pick up my box and put it on the floor for me, please? On the floor? Yes, just behind you. Behind me? Yeah. Um, I, it's... Melby, do you want to go and help him? It's yeah. very heavy. Girl power. I can't lift yeah. it. <laughs> no, it was... He what is moving. going on? How is that possible? Stop! Oh, OK. Please, can you both sit back down for me, please? All right. She's a little bossy. <laughs> How's that even possible? Howie, I'm going to show you a card trick, but it's a card trick like no other. As you can see, all the cards are different. Yes. I'm going to turn them face down, and I'd like you to touch the back of any card. There. Are you sure? I am. I'd like you to look at your card, remember it, and don't show anyone else. Don't show anybody else. Anyone. OK. Got it. Now, Howie, there are three books. Please choose one book. I, I want to make a million. <laughs> How to Make a Million has around 674 pages. Please, can you choose a number between 1 and 674? 126. Simon. Please, can you turn the book to page 126 for me, please? Now choose one word and in a loud voice tell everybody what it is. Excellent. Excellent. See this blackboard? Before the show, I wrote a word on it. Watch. Yeah. For the first time, Howie, what was the card you chose? It is the Three of Diamonds. Watch. Four chalkboards, they're numbered one, two, three, and four. 
Now, Simon, Heidi, Mel, Howie, you guys are going to choose which chalkboard is going to represent you guys. So, hey, you don't know what's behind there. I've drawn something and I've written some stuff on each one. We're going to get to it in a little bit. So, Simon. Well, you obviously, want... number one. Okay, number one it is. <laughs> Simon, number one. Heidi, guess what? Same thing. Do you want two, three, I, or four? Yeah, I would like to be the number two then. Number two it is. <laughs> you guys are making this easy on me. Mel B, three or four? I will go for the number three. Threes it is. Mel B. Oh, I know what I want to be. Howie, my man, number four. Now, you guys had a free choice. This is what I love about this show. This show changed my life. Howie, you've toured the country, man. You've toured the world. You've sold out venues all over the place. Right. And I want to be just like you. So I actually got cities off of your tour schedule. So here's a bunch of cities and states of places that you've performed that I want to perform one day. Okay. So we're going to pick one right now. When I riffle, say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Say stop. Stop riffling. You want to keep going or do you want that? No, I want to stop. Are you sure? I really need to stop. Okay, hey. Here you go. Don't look at it. Okay. Slide it out. Keep okay. it right there. All right. I started AGT doing a card trick. So Mel B, we're going to do just that. I'm going to do a card trick. I'm going to make okay. it really simple on you. All you're going to do is as I riffle through here, all you got to do is say stop. Are you ready? So just say stop. Stop. Right here. Watch carefully. I'm going to rip a corner. Like so. Queen of hearts. Hold on the queen, Mel. Heidi, let me see your hand. It's when you take the corner that that corner disappears, just like that, gone. Now there's a stack of pictures that have been sitting right here. I haven't touched them, I haven't come close to them. Nope. Why don't we pick up all those pictures and see if there's something underneath right there? Pick up everything? Pick them all up. You're gonna find one thing. Oh. There's a corner to a card right there. Now hold on, Mel B, take that corner. Make sure it fits perfect right there. I, I don't wanna touch it. it. Get it, get She's it. She's got nails. Howie to the rescue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Make sure it fits perfect yes, right there. And does. that is, in fact, the corner. Now, Heidi. I love this. Heidi, your whole career, you've done outrageous. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Well, I'm a witch, obviously. And Halloween, you go over the top. But these are pictures of you, whether it's Halloween, whether it's red carpets. It's just all the cool events that you've been able to go to. Yeah. And guess what? You're going to do the same thing Howie did. All you're going to do, as I riffle, is just say stop. Just light my head in it? If Whatever you want. All righty. I'm riffle ready when it. you are. Whoop, okay, don't look at it. Not Slide looking. it over just like this. Simon, I got a deck of cards here. All you gotta do is just touch one. Just touch it. Now look, hold on. I'm gonna give you the opportunity. Do you wanna keep this one or do you wanna change your mind? I'll keep it. Are you sure? Yeah. Remember this moment. I'm giving you a chance to change your mind. No, I'm gonna keep it. Here it is. Thank Take you. it and look at it if you want. Howie, what did you pick? What this Turn is? it over. Can Show I... everybody what it is. You and I are going somewhere, buddy. And exactly. where is it? Tulsa, Oklahoma. There it is. Let, let me see it. Tulsa, Oklahoma. The judges had a free choice of whatever chalkboard they wanted. Hey, Terry, can you do me a favor? There's a, a chalkboard with uh, Howie's face on there. Why don't you go ahead and turn that chalkboard around for me, man? Because I drew something on that no, chalkboard. How you and I are going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> now, Howie, you could have selected any card you wanted to. You chose the Queen of Hearts. Terry, spin that thing around for me. I had a premonition that not only would she choose that chalkboard, but you were going to pick a Queen of Hearts. That's crazy. Heidi. How is that even yes. possible? You've done a lot of cool things in your career. What did you do today with that picture? I was a schmetterling for is Halloween. That? I was what? a butterfly for that's Halloween. A, that's a butterfly? Yeah. That's amazing. You chose number two. Terry, do me a favor. Turn over number two. I made a prediction and drew a picture before the show that you were going to be a butterfly. Now, hold on, we got one left. We got one left. Simon, I told you there was a defining moment when you could have changed your mind and you said, no. Yeah. You picked a card. I did. What do you got? I three got of clubs. Three you clubs. had the first choice. You could have chosen any chalkboard you wanted, one, two, three, or four. My man went with number one. I wrote a card down on the back of that chalkboard. Terry, let me see it, my man. All right. Turn that around. That there's the three of clubs. But in the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent, I had a huge map on that stage. Roll that clip. No. Just like that, Howie, in season 11, you chose Oklahoma, That's Oklahoma. just like you did today. How is that possible? Mel B, you chose any card you wanted to, and you chose a heart. Hearts follow you everywhere you go, because in the first round of America's Got Talent, the champions, I asked the audience to write words of what described a champion. You could have chosen any word you wanted to. You selected whatever word you wanted, and lo and behold, the word you chose, heart. Predicted back then, and there's your heart. 
Now, Heidi. Oh my God. I believe it was the semifinal, season 11. I sat up here and I had all you guys think of whatever you wanted and you could draw whatever you want. And in season 11, I made a prediction that today, you'd go back to that Halloween party as a butterfly. Right there, you drew a butterfly. Whoa! Now hold on. The moment it comes down to, I wanted to end my journey the same way I started. Because in season 11, when he just thought of any card he wanted to, my man Simon picked a three of clubs right there just like he picked no. today. And I ended the same way I started with Simon Cowell holding awesome. the three of clubs. My name's John Dornboss, baby. It's a great day to be alive. Peace out. I love every single one of you. Thank you guys, my man. John Dornboss! Come up here, man. Wow! Heidi, yes. your thoughts? I mean, you are multi-talented. You really, really are. I mean, you speak from the heart and you boost our spirit every time when you come onto the stage. You're so entertaining, you're so good. Simon. You've come back and just blown the roof off with what I've just seen. Yes. I mean, genuinely, I'm not just saying that, John. We're not voting, the 50 states are voting. You have a shot. Thank you. I and mean, that was amazing. Thank you. I mean, purely fantastic. Yeah, awesome, man. Howie, your thoughts? Oh, my gosh. I'm, 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 like, just stunned. I really am. There are only two words to describe what you did tonight, and that is wild card. My gosh. You are a champ. I'll take you, baby. <laughs> Now, John, being a wild card tonight, how do you feel about coming back? Let me tell you, I'm gonna share something with you guys for the first time, because my wife and I haven't told anybody. And before this show, a few days ago, magic happened. We got a bun in the oven, and this guy right here is about to be a dad. Yeah. And my wife's out there, baby, I love you. And a little dorm box is gonna be putting around here, so take cover. <laughs> well, good luck tonight, John, thank you. Please give it up for John Dornball! Hello, Melissa. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Now we're here at the finale, and you know, there's so many memories that I've had in the past couple of months. But there's actually a big difference between a memory and a moment. It's kind of like what we're living right now in this very second. Like, we don't even know who's gonna be crowned champion until later on, much like this card right over here. It's blank, and I have no idea what it's gonna be until later on. So let's actually capture this moment. Can you hold on to it? Uh-huh. Do you have a phone? Yes. Can you grab it? We're gonna take a picture of this, okay? So we can kind of remember this moment. So okay. Hold it up to your face. Smile. Very good. We'll leave that, we, we don't need that. And we actually, we don't really need that card either. So just be sure I don't touch it at all. I'll leave it right next to your phone. Do you have a favorite card? Queen. Okay, do you know which queen? Diamonds. Queen of diamonds? Yeah. Okay, cool, let's, let's look for it. Uh, here we go. <laughs> queen of diamonds, okay, there we go. Um, actually, to, to tell you the truth, uh, maybe, maybe this deck is stacked in some way. Can you shuffle it? Give it a mix. All right. I don't want to touch it in any way. Something like that. Very good, okay. It's making the job harder for me, that's why. That. That's very good. All right, cool. Deck it. Cut the deck anywhere you want. Okay. Maybe in half or whatever. Okay, hold on to whichever package you want. All right. Now, Melissa, I want you to do me a favor. Deal onto my hand and you just stop anytime you want, okay? Completely up to you, your choice. You want to keep going, you can stop if you want. It's your choice. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Now, Queen of Diamonds, right? You shuffled the deck. I did. You stopped wherever you wanted? Mm-hmm. Queen of Diamonds, does that sound about right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll have the deck. I'm, I'm gonna run through the deck. It's it's not like uh, it's not like the cards are, are all the same. There's only one Queen of Diamonds in the deck. You can uh -huh. you can be the judge, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But let's make it even more different. All right, Melissa. Can you actually kiss the face of the Queen right over there? Okay. That's just gonna make it completely unique. Amazing. There's only one Queen of Diamonds in the world, like this. 
Uh, Melissa, can I have your hand out? Mm -hmm. Like that? Okay, cool. We're gonna also make it special, but can you grab them to the card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll bite on it, the corner. Like bite this it? Yeah, corner? Yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead. Make sure I don't go anywhere near that card, okay? Stay just with that, okay. We'll take the uh, two of hearts. I'll kiss it as well. Oh, that, that's kind of awkward. I, I forgot to put on my lipstick. That's it. <laughs> there you go. So I have a two, you have a queen. Hand it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure now I have the queen of diamonds in my mouth. What? <laughs> remember, Melissa, remember we were talking about moments. Mm -hmm. And we can take this moment right here, the queen of diamonds, and make it vanish. Remember that picture we took before? Can you go to your photo album? I don't wanna, I don't wanna do anything anymore at this point. Okay. Take a look at your latest photo. What do you see? Oh yeah, that looks a lot like the Queen of Diamonds to me, doesn't it? Wow. And that's your phone. This is not mine, it's your picture. But remember, whatever happens in this dimension sometimes also happen in reality as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Wow. Wow. Whoa, give it up for Shin Lim. And a big thanks to my Brooklyn Nine-Nine co-star, Melissa Fumero. Hi, YouTube. Click below to subscribe for more talent.